Howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome back to Gomer Plays Mega Man 5 The Redo. Last time we took on Gyro Man, knocked him out of the sky. And now I have a weakness for each of the other Robot Masters. Star Man is strong against Gravity Man. Gyro Man is strong against Crystal Man. Charge Man is strong against Wave Man. And Napalm Man is strong against Stone Man. I, I'm not going to be using any of them for their initial fights, like I said in the first video. Uh, I'm just letting you guys know. <laughs> oh, Crystal Man. His stage is one of my least favorites. It looks great. It looks really pretty. The music's fine, but... The crystal dropping gimmick. Thankfully, in the Game Boy iteration of this, you have the Flash Stopper from Bright Man. And that makes it so much better. And, to be fair, I do have super arrows that can help out if I get too much into a jam. So... Hi. Okay. Timing is key. Timing is key! Yeah. Oof. Okay. Oof. And whoop. Ali -oop. There we go. I can do it. I just hate it. <laughs> it's like math. I could do it. I could do it just fine. I'm just not a big fan of, like, having to do it for, like, classes and shit. Hmm. Okay, and you know what? Taking no chances, super arrow, fuck you. And I can't do that here. Fuck! Fuck you, game. And just shoot you. Oh, wait, keep that out. I think I might need it. Yeah! Oh! Oh, damn. Oh, shit, son. Okay. <gasps> yes. I think I made it. Yeah. I don't think I have to worry about those anymore, at least in this stage. Yeah, buddy. Sweet. Oh. Hey, you remember these guys? Hi. Shield attackers. It's like Capcom... It's like Capcom saw how upset everybody was at at the shield attackers from Mega Man 4 and then they decided to say hey we're gonna put them in all these other games too just to piss people off and I know I missed a one up no I have choices Rush Coil because you're not gonna get a lot more use out of this game so the M tank the mega tank or mystery tank depending on how you call depending on what you call it if you're full up on everything, it'll turn all the enemies, I think even in this game, I know it does it in 9 and 10, but I think even in this game, it'll turn all the enemies into 1-ups. Whee! The 5. Yeah, that one if you get, you may as well just kind of just suicide and try again. <laughs> if you if you want the, if you want beat, that is. If you're not worried about beat, then, well, obviously, ow. Whee! Hi. Goodbye. Crystal Man, I am here for you. Boom. So, can you can you predict the future? Can you tell me if that if you see a future in which you will win? Cuz I kind of don't see one. The look on your forehead says um, yeah, I'm going to win. At least eventually. Oh, ah, missed. In it. Hey, get back here. Wow. Just keeping a regular plaza. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, let's keep it a regular plasma shots. Nope, not so much. And jump and jump and woo! Ah, that's not so bad. Yeah. After things like Shovel Knight and some of the fan games I've been playing, this is a breather. I, I think I said that uh, like last episode or so. Uh, definitely a breather. <laughs> Uh, don't get me wrong. The, the fan games and Shovel Knight and all of them, they're fun. They're just considerably tougher than this one. At least for me. I mean... Hmm. With a crystal eye. You shoot it, it hits a wall, it breaks into pieces. Because that's what crystals do. But uh, at any rate, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like it, you can hit the like button. You can subscribe if you've not already done so. And of course, leave a comment. I, I welcome all comments. I will try and get to as many as I can. <laughs> Um, in whatever time allows. And constructive criticism is always welcome. 
And until next time, this is Gomer the Ranting Thespian. Signing off.